Hey, what's up YouTube? So I'm about to show you the latest Nike Air Max Plus Supreme collaboration. But before I do, I wanna give you a quick background on the Air Max Plus. So real quick, the Air Max Plus first dropped in 1998. They were originally created to be a lightweight running sneaker made exclusively for Foot Locker stores. They were designed by a guy named Sean McDowell. He claims his silhouette is inspired by sunsets and swaying palm trees. I guess I can see that. He not only wanted the sneaker to look cool from the sides, but also from the top-down perspective. With that in mind, he didn't just want to simply connect the lines in the toe box, so instead he went with something a little more interesting, as you can see. He also claims the heel of the sneaker was inspired by a whale's tail. I I don't really see that, but I'll take the designer's word for it. Since their original release, there have been literally hundreds of colorways. They even went so far as to make leather editions. Needless to say, they were pretty popular. Now, I've always referred to these as the Air Max Plus, but in some places they're known simply as TNs. The TN stands for Tuned Air. Nike made a big deal about this at launch and insisted the designer add the TN logo prominently on the shoe, which is why you can see it all over the place. In short, the Tuned Air technology was designed to put less pressure on a runner's heels and toes. It must have worked because over 20 years Years later, Tuned Air is still arguably one of the most advanced units from Nike. Long story short, they became very popular in the States, but even more popular in places like Australia and Europe, so much that they developed a cult-like following. For me, I always thought the Air Max Plus was a cool sneaker, but if I'm keeping it real, I was never a huge fan, and honestly, there were just so many other silhouettes I liked more. Again, nothing against the sneaker, but unfortunately, I've just seen too many people wear them wrong through the years, and it kind of turned me off to the shoe. Does that make any sense? I think it does. Anyway, when I first learned about these, I had to check them out for myself. And believe it or not, I actually scored my pair on the Nike sneakers app last week for $180. I can't believe it either. They must have made a mistake and actually let somebody score a pair. These released on the same day as the Supreme Blacks, and there's an all-white pair set to drop soon. But after looking at the two available, I thought these ones were cooler. These are called the Air Max Plus Supreme Mean Green. These are definitely fitting for the Halloween season, and they look like something Nickelodeon would have made. At first glance, these are kind of ugly, but weirdly, that's one of the things that makes them cool. It's hard to explain, but if you step out in all black with these popping off your feet, it could be a good look. Maybe I'm tripping, who knows. But after spending some time with them, I have to say I like what Supreme did here. And that's not something I say lightly. For starters, they didn't just slap a box logo on it, charge us double, and call it a day. They actually put real thought and effort into this and respected the original silhouette and the designer's original vision while breathing new life into a classic design that's over 20 years old. I appreciate that effort and I think it's pretty cool. Even the Nike Supreme co-branded box and tissue paper look cool and feels like higher quality packaging. I accidentally cut the top of the box when I opened it, but it's all good. You wear the sneakers, not the box. They fit true to size and have a bunch of reflective hits around the sneaker. Nike also made a pretty big deal about the use of TPU materials all over the shoe when promoting this. TPU stands for thermoplastic polyurethane. It's basically a flexible, hard plastic material. I'm not really sure of the benefits and why they made such a big deal about it, but I always support synthetic materials over leather, so it's all good with me. You have green laces, green midsole, and basically an all green outsole with an orange midfoot arch. My verdict after testing them out, they're still a comfortable, lightweight plus. They're light even by today's standards. They've always been a chill sneaker, and Supreme added that bit of extra flavor that makes them fun. The most obvious change is on the medial and lateral sides of the sneaker. If you look close, they took those swaying palm trees and spelled out the word Supreme. They also incorporated the sunset style gradient that you saw in the original. You also have the Supreme logo on the tongue and insole. The color choice is really subjective, but I think everyone would agree that these will get attention. They're not an everyday sneaker, but I wouldn't mind busting these out from time to time. I'll put a link to where you can get these in the description below. That's my video. I'll show a few more shots, but before I do, I ask that you please like, subscribe, and ring that notification bell. Also, you can follow me on Instagram at E21Life for other sneaker stuff and randomness. Let me know in the comments what you think of the Nike Supreme collab, and would you keep these or flip them? I'd be curious to know. Thanks for watching, everybody, and stay safe. Peace.